uh, th this this video actually made me so upset. You ever watch a YouTube video and you wish that you could just somehow step into your screen and fucking go into the video and just basically inflict your view of what the justice should have been? No? Well, okay. The, watch this video. It's actually a clip from the Dr. Phil show. You know, that crooked cop looking dude who pretends he's a psychologist, but he's really just a fucking therapist who wanted to have groupies so he can get some more pussy on the side and realize that he wasn't going to get it in a, in a fucking therapy room. So he was like, I know, I'll do a TV show and say obvious shit slowly. Uh, <laughs> Anyways, let's continue. Uh, he has a clip on there. It, the name of this video is called Fat Kid Slaps Mum, M-U-M. All right, and just to set this one up, this is basically, obviously, a mother who can't control her kid. He's a fat kid. He's about 11 or 12. His voice hasn't changed yet, and he's sitting there. Sitting down across from his mother, who's also sitting down, and nose to nose, they are having a discussion, and this kid is taking his mother to task, interrupting her. And then when she gives him shit for interrupting her, he goes, well, how does that feel? How does that feel? How do you like it? Like, completely out of fucking control. And this kid's got this temper, and he's so fucking out of line, and then she starts giving him shit, and out of nowhere, he just hauls off and fucking slaps her. Like a goddamn pimp. Oh, the only thing, what, the only reason why it wasn't a pimp slap because it wasn't a backhand, but it had the same fucking. It sounded like a flare chop, right to her fucking cheek. And there's this pause, and I'm like, oh my god, she is gonna be on him like a mountain lion, and I'm gonna see the boom my guy jumping in, trying to pull her off from clawing the eyes out of this kid's fucking head. There's that pause. And then the kid just goes, how does that feel? How do you like it? And the mother does absolutely nothing. And I swear to God, I was just like, I had to like stand up and like walk around, do like little circles. You know when you want to walk away from the video, but you have to watch it again. So you just do those little fucking figure eights. I was like, you got you to be fucking kidding me. Why aren't you fucking killing that kid right now? Right? And I, you know what I would have done if I was that, if I was that, uh, I just wanted to insert, I just really, I was scaring my dog over there. Sorry, dude. Sorry about that. All right. We're just acting over here. Everything's good, man. Everything's good. Cleo, Leo, Leo. Sorry. Um, <laughs> what does it take to make a dog's fucking wag its tail? It takes literally two seconds. Um, anyways, I just looked at that video and I was... I immediately just imagined being married to that woman and then that was my son and I was I got to tell you right now if you know when I marry Nia and we have kids and do all that shit if one of our kids ever slaps her in the face I will I would have yeah I would have fucking throat I would have choke slammed that kid through the fucking coffee table. And with any luck, it would be one of those old school antique coffee tables, you know, that were made out of the really good wood from deep in the fucking forest. Not that IKEA shit that explodes like a fucking stunt table, you know? And I would just put that motherfucker right through it. And then I would pull him up by his goddamn larynx and then right through the fucking drywall. All right? My hand would be disappearing into the wall like I just fisted a fucking horse. <laughs> and you would be wondering where that kid was. And then I'd pull him out. And he'd have all that fucking plaster in his hair. And he'd start to cry. And then I would just fucking take away like three quarters of his oxygen. And I would whisper in his ear really calmly. Like one of those bad guys in those great 80s movies with Mel Gibson. Where once they get him tied up. Or fucking Stallone or whatever. All the fucking, the goons would get him tied up. And then the, the, the real, the, the head bad guy who's running shit would just come in all relaxed with his fucking dress shoes and suit. 
and would just come up and just sort of put his face like parallel to the other dude's face. You know, you just come in and you're just whispering right in the guy's ear, nice and calmly. That's what I would do to him. As this kid was struggling to breathe, I just put my fucking head right next to his ear. And I would just be like, if you ever slap your mother in the face again, I will fucking kill you. Do you understand me? Do you understand me? The only reason why you're not dead right now is because I haven't figured out how to get away with it yet. I'd be saying shit like that. And then you go upstairs. And you go to your fucking room. If you even look at her over the next month, I swear to God, I will grab you by your fucking baby fat and the top of your fucking head and I will throw you upside down through the fucking bay window. Do you understand that? And as you sit out there in the rain, picking the glass and the wood shards out of your body, I'm going to take a tray of hot macaroni and throw it right on your fucking face. That's what I'm going to do if you ever fucking touch your mother again. Was that a little too violent? Was it? Well, I don't give a fuck. All right? That's how I came up. You know, I grew up, if I, if I, I actually, the reason why I expected that woman to claw that kid's eyes out is because that's what my mom would have done. My mom did not need a father figure <laughs> hanging around the goddamn house. Basically, if, if that woman was my mother, the only role the dad would have would be at some point to pull the mom off that kid in order to fucking say, my mother would have just grabbed the nearest. She would have fucking, oh, uh, remember old school moms? They, they drew blood. They were like cats. And they just fucking just, just dug their nails into you. And they grabbed you in really weird places. They would just grab like a handful of neck. Somehow have your jugular in their hand. <laughs> They do that, and then the other hand, like their thumb would somehow get into this part of your armpit you didn't even know existed, and they would just take a chunk of flesh out of that. Somehow there'd be no holes in your fucking t-shirt, and they would just, they would, it was unbelievable. It's like a fucking sci-fi movie. When you were done, and you, you fucking went upstairs, and your skin was just burning from wherever the fuck they had clawed you, when you took, it looked like, yeah, like you got attacked by a bobcat. Uh, do, do those moms exist anymore? We, I don't know. They, I think there's been an overcorrection. I remember one time one of my brothers said that I kicked him in the face, which was bullshit. I kicked him in the stomach, which was considered legal and working it out amongst yourselves. <laughs> my mother was brushing her hair. She was late for work. She had, she had to go with frontier justice. She didn't have time for my side of the story. She just turned around and she went to smash this thing over my head like a fucking gavel. So I did, basically, I did this defensive move where I ducked, but not like a man. I didn't do like the boxing, like fucking come up and under and then fucking with the right hook. I didn't do that shit. What I basically did was I immediately did a fucking 180. So now I wasn't facing my mother. I put my shoulders up to my ears. I bent over slightly at a 45 degree angle. And then for some reason, I made my arms go a little, my elbows go a little past my back. And I, I, I squinted. I look like Pau Gasol before, right before he decides to go to the rack, anticipating the foul. And luckily I ducked enough. She missed my head and just hit me right in the back. Like I took one of those folding chairs and rustling from Pat Patterson right to my fucking back. And I went down in a goddamn heap and landed on that Kmart fucking bath mat as the shards of the, the plastic brush just landed all around me. And you know what my mother's big concern was? Was that she broke her brush. You know? And it was old school. Back then when you didn't have flat screen TVs. And when you broke a brush... If the, if the rubber part with the bristles still existed, she'd just continue using it. And she did for years. She just, she just rather than having a handle and fucking combing it, like uh, brushing it like Barbie, she just held it in her hand now. Like, you know those brushes black guys use when they try to get waves in their hair? That's what it looked like. And <laughs> she just kept using that. And every time I saw it, I was reminded of that. And it was like a week later that the two of us, we just started laughing about it. Like, Mom, when are you going to buy a new brush? And she said, well, there's nothing wrong with this one. 
There's nothing wrong with it. It doesn't fucking, three quarters of it doesn't even exist anymore. And isn't it a fucking reminder that you smash the rest of it over, over one of your kids' backs? No, she didn't give a fuck. And she shouldn't have. She was right. She was right. That was my thing about that shit. It, 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 I don't know. That's the way parenting used to be. The mom used to kick the shit out of you, and the dad didn't have to kick the shit out of you. All he had to do was go, hey! and you fucking peed yourself a little bit, and that was it. So that's what I got out of that clip, man. That's just bad parenting. That kid should have never got If that was my kid, that kid would have been stuffed upside down in a fucking hamper and slid down a flight of fucking stairs. Huh? How about that? How about your point now? How does that feel? All right? <laughs> Give him one of those ass kickings where you, you only end up with one shoe on. You know? <laughs> I used to do a bit about that on stage. I don't know if I ever fucking... Uh, I might have to bring that one back. Speaking of that first question that I had, I used to do a bit about anytime you get beat up by five or more people, you always lose a shoe. You know? the hell bit was that? Like, you know, you get your ass kicking. Your ass kicked when there's, like, debris of you afterwards and you have to, like, collect your personal belongings. Oh, fuck. I remember. What the, how did the hell did it go? Somehow the tag was something about having a deck of cards. I had a deck of cards. You see the Jack of Diamonds? Like, just your shit was just, I don't know. I can't remember how the fuck it went. But anyways. Um, so, if you want to see what old school parenting looks like, but in a funnier way. Here's another YouTube clip. Watch this this clip. It's called Spoiled Kid Gets Yelled At. And, uh, yeah, the guy yelling in this is basically my dad. All right, this is the funny version of it, of what he really had to do and was totally in the right um, when he did it. Like, I don't have any uh, – that's my thing, you know, with the old school parenting. You know, it bothered me as a kid, but when I look back on it now, it's like I deserved so many ass kickings. So many fucking ass kickings. I deserved them. I fucking deserved them. I remember one time, one of my brothers pissed me off, and I took out a garden hose, and I started spraying it through the fucking... uh, I was so mad because I had to water the plants... And he was making fun of me, and I just took this thing, and I fucking, I just, I, just, I, I, you know, I had a temper. I just sprayed it right at him, right into the house. And, uh, you know, and that was the day I learned what dirt tastes like. <laughs> my mother had me, was on my back, just pushing my face into the mud. Oh, yeah, that was, those were the days. And then all your other siblings would stand around laughing. Because your mother couldn't hear the laughter over the rage. She would always focus on the one person. We're just laughing. And then you come in with your mud-covered face. <laughs> crying. And everybody just laughs. Just, uh The shit I used to see. I remember back in the day, I remember seeing one of my, one of my friends mouthed off to his mother. I went over to his house to get some lunch. And he mouthed off to his mom. And he wanted, he wanted dessert or something, and she was just like, no, it's lunchtime. You don't get any dessert. And he just goes, oh, Mom, I hate you, like we were little kids. And the kid's dad did not even look up from his sandwich, just took a whole the kid's whole glass of milk and just threw it in his face. <laughs> so my friend just starts crying, right? The dad goes back to eating his sandwich. And then the mother just got up right on cue, went over and just cleaned it up. And that was it. And I can guarantee you that kid never said, oh, mom, I hate you again. This whole fucking timeout shit. I know that's a hacky bit, but I really believe it. I really believe that, you know, you got to slap them around. You got to, you got to, you know, got to, you know, it really hurt. I'm not talking about literally abusing them, but yeah, you got to throw a glass of milk in their face. You got to, gra- you got to. Basically, ruin one of their shirts. And by that, I mean grab them by the front of it and lift them up by it to the point where all their body weight is on the neck of the shirt. And it rips a little bit and leaves that red mark that goes past your fucking collarbone down to your sternum. Now, there's a whole generation of kids listening to this to have no idea what I'm talking about. But anybody remotely my age is punching the dashboard right now, laughing, remembering all of this shit. 
Uh, I don't know. Did it make us better people? I don't fucking know, but we shut the fuck up at dinner. Uh